position. So in your shoes right now, I want you to feel it. It's hard to see it. You're going to have to feel it. Toes are forward. Bend it, tuck it, lift it. Knees are out. Now, right now, focus what happens on your ankles when you initially push your knees out as far as you can. Okay, arches lift. Sometimes people start to roll over on their ankles, and that's what I want in the beginning to build the strength on the outside and flexibility. Now, feel what happens when you press, lift big toe first, then press ball joint down. Feel the activation up on each side of your calf and feel how your ankles stabilize and your knee now can't go as far because you stay, but now it'll take you to the next level of building strength and flexibility. These shoes are Nike Freeze, okay, F-R-E-E-Z or whatever, and they're designed without negative heel technology because when he was zoomed in close, you can see if he zooms in on my feet, so the people in the back, if you can't see my feet, just look at the screen. See how the toes are up. You can't really do that with Skechers, but I'm doing it inside your shoe. And one of the reasons I like the Skechers shoes is that they're a wide toe box. So you don't want to be wearing tight shoes when you do foot fitness. But if you have a shoe that has a wide toe box or like flexible shoes like this, you can really activate. It's, that's why you can't really see it in some of the other videos. Okay, so now that you've stabilized on that, feel how the little toe is down. I'm always saying big toe up, but in all truth, you're pressing ball joint, lifting toes, and the little toe's down and the ball joint's down, and all the toes that lift are the other ones, like in between. That's the same reason why in, in, the, in the PBS where I have you press little finger and your thumb, so when you're stabilizing your wrist as you do the rock, so you don't cross over.